So in the last video, we looked at fake emails being sent to YouTubers like myself, pretending to be a sponsor offer, which of course this is not when you go ahead and try to download the file, which is supposed to be an offer or a PDF document, turns out it's actually an info stealer. Now in the last video, we tried to analyze this on platforms like Farstool, but it turns out they have managed to come up with a strategy to bypass AV scanners by making the file so large, nobody can scan them. Unfortunately for them, however, I'm a malware analyst, which meant I could just drag and drop this file into a hex editor, look at the format, realize this is the opening header of a P file, meaning it's an EXE, not a PDF. Well, there are easier ways to figure that out. Out. but we could also go ahead and delete all of the blank space or the padding that's used to enlarge the file artificially, allowing us to analyze the file, figure out exactly what type of malware it was. However, what I didn't mention last time is that we do have the superpower of being able to compare file contents in a much more powerful way using an online tool called binvis.io or binary visualizer. And as you can see from the demo right on the homepage, this can allow you to see the actual contents of the file visualized in a meaningful way via a color scheme. The file on the left is a Linux ELF file. In the middle, we have a traditional Microsoft Windows EXE. And on the right, we have a PDF file. And the beautiful thing about mapping file contents visually is that it cannot be beaten by any kind of obfuscation method that the attacker chooses to use. Some things are just going to look different. The attacker may do something to obscure the superficial indicators of a file. The file size may be believable. The file type may be hidden. They may use some kind of trick to make the extension look legitimate even. And there are some pretty sophisticated tricks out there. However, regardless of what file type or size padding or obfuscation they use, all those techniques mean their file is going to look fundamentally different in terms of structure to an actual document or an actual safe exe file. And that's what we're going to look at today. So we're going to compare this malware, which is pretending to be a PDF, but is actually an info stealer to an actual PDF document document using binary visualizer and we'll see how they both look side by side. And one of the best things about this is, guess what? We can actually analyze a 674 megabyte file. So I'm not going to have to do any of my trickery to get it to work. I also want to analyze a safe file. So for starters, we're going to look at a PDF, but we're also going to look at a safe EXE. This is a real document. Shakespeare's plays loads up immediately. We've also got a hex view on the side in case you wanted to see that. But as you can see, it looks pretty dense. There are a lot of different colors and it shows us what each of these colors mean. For example, anything that's zero is represented in black. This would be typical of empty space or padding. ASCII characters correspond to blue and the lower byte classes, they're gonna be represented in green, the higher ones in red. And if you're confused by the Fs, just keep in mind this is hexadecimal. So F is like the highest number in that number system. Now also want to open up an actual safe exe file. So I'm going to go to the desktop. We're just going to look at Process Explorer. And again, this is an actual executable application. So it looks a bit different from our PDF file, but it's still quite dense. Now you can definitely tell a difference between the pattern here and the pattern here. But now let's take a look at the actual malware sample. And what on earth is this? <laughs> this is like a black hole swallowing up the universe. We've got this little bit of actual data and then just empty space all over the place. It's like your GPU gave up rendering here. And so just like that, by looking at the visual representation of this file, you can tell something is massively off. This is not how any file looks like. Now you can actually zoom in simply by selecting the area you want to focus on. And then all of a sudden, this thing starts to look more and more like a PEEXE file, but it's got its own intricacies and it does look very different from what a PDF looks like, for example. We could also try opening a text file and this is obviously all ASCII because it's just text. We can also open a different PDF file. And again, as you can see, you can see a pattern of similarity between the two PDF files. So even though 
these are two entirely different PDF files with entirely different file content, the general structure does appear somewhat similar in terms of the concentration of different colors. And this is a really powerful tool to get a bird's eye view of what you're looking at and just understand what has been done to it. Obviously, if you're looking at standard false, there's not going to be anything interesting to see from this. But if a malware author has done something to their fall to confuse an antivirus engine or to change the structure or to hide a bit of code or to artificially increase its size or to encrypt big chunks of it, you might be able to tell that just by looking at the file and say, this does not look like a normal file, which is very much the case here. Pulling up a nice side-by-side uh, -side view for the thumbnail, and there you have it. Malware on the left, actual PDF on the right. But for more general advice on how to avoid attacks like this, how to not be infected by an info stealer that's gonna take your YouTube credentials, do watch the first video I made since that was more a step-by-step -step journey with advice on each step. But before you go, this video is brought to you by a special message from our Discord. I know a lot of you love our Discord and you wanna be mods. So I thought I'd show you the official TPSC mod recruitment process, which happened during my trip to DEF CON. So, you make the choice, you gonna make her a mod? Yeah, I mean, she can talk, she, you know, you've already qualified. <laughs> and now that if you actually met me in person and I've driven yeah. you across yeah, multiple states. <laughs> so there you go. That's, uh, that's how you become mod. But seriously, for those of you who did stick around, do consider joining our Discord. We have a lot of awesome events. I personally did an after party right after DEF CON where we talked about every single cybersecurity conference that I've been to. And TPSC is a lot bigger than YouTube. We're trying to develop testing tools for the broader cybersecurity world in general. And I'd love to have more impact, do some really exciting community projects. So if you're someone who is in the industry and you're an advocate for TPSC and you really like the kind of stuff I do, would like to see more products tested, want to facilitate that, or want to bring more perspectives in. Maybe you have ideas of who I should engage with and potential speakers and things like that. Please do join the Discord and mention it in your introduction say you would like to be involved, give me as much information as possible about your background, because I would love to do more community stuff. You don't have to donate, there's no cost, just reaching out. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like and share this video if you enjoyed it. A lot more exciting stuff coming up, so don't forget to subscribe. This is Leo, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.